Hello and welcome to this very quick little Halpa Wings news update. Um, I'm talking to you because there are two things that I have found um, or that I would like to uh, talk to you about. The first thing is actually something that Halpa told us already at the beginning of this month, so beginning of February, um, but kind of fell under the radar. I missed it myself. Um, and only uh, found it a few days ago. And the other thing I would like to talk about, um, well, is a little bit of a concerning example of Halper's business practice. Um, actually, the first one is two. And the first thing is um, the cancelled Dreamlifter, the um, huge transport aircraft of Boeing. Halper had originally announced this aircraft for um, the 0102, so January, February batch of 2020. And in February of 2022, Herpa suddenly found out that their tooling for this aircraft model is broken. I don't know what they have been waiting for these two years, how it could take two years to figure that out, but they have found out that they can't repair the tooling and therefore they have canceled the model. Now, we know what this means. HAPA will make this model at a later date, but of course at a new price. And with this cancellation comes also the cancellation of all pre-orders for this aircraft model, which I have mentioned on my Instagram account in uh, previous examples of this with, for example, the Lord Embraer models, is outrageous. If HAPA cannot make a model and it, it just drags on and drags on. Like in this example with the Dreamlifter, and it takes them two years to figure out, okay, we need to start over. Fair enough. But what you cannot do is to cancel all the pre-orders. What you could do is to say, we have tried to make this model work and we have to start over. And this means additional costs. So we cannot sell the model anymore for the price we originally had announced. So this means for all new orders, there is a new price. But for all existing orders, you cannot just simply cancel it and then just tell your customers, your loyal customers that trusted you so much that they made a pre-order to tell them, oh, by the way, we want more money. So we will cancel your order. It's outrageous. They've done it with the uh, Lot Embraer models. They've done it with another model, which I've forgotten right now. It's not important. The important thing is the practice is so consumer unfriendly. I mean, you can't make up this stuff. Now, alongside the cancellation of the Dreamlifter, Hapa had actually released an official statement, unfortunately only in German, but luckily for you, I can translate it for you. And it says, the tooling for the Dreamlifter in scale 500 was damaged while moving to a new production facility. A repair has shown itself to be unprofitable and therefore we have decided to rework some of the molds, including some um, improvements. I mean, at least that. Um, and that's basically what they had to say about this. The second topic I would like to um, talk to you about today um, is actually something that I um, myself had completely missed because it um, revolves around the uh, Lockheed Tree Star models, which I don't collect. But luckily I was talking with HDI International Airport and he made me aware of an issue with these models. And before you say anything, yes, I know many of us do not collect these models, but again, this is a very good example of what Harpa is doing and why many of the arguments just don't make any sense. So do stay tuned. Herpa is these days producing an anniversary series for the TriStar. They have released two models so far and a third one is coming very shortly. Unfortunately for Herpa, but fortunately enough for us collectors, there have been quite a few manufacturers making TriStar models over the years, like for example Starjets, 5 Stars or InFlight 500. So simply said, there are enough examples out there to see what is possible to do with the TriStar in a scale 500 model. That Herpa is incapable of creating the correct no shape of an A320 family aircraft model is not news, but apparently they are also now incapable of doing so with the TriStars, 
even though they have done so in the past. Now, whatever they have done with the nose shape of the Eastern TriStar, I mean, is clearly wrong. But even worse is the example of the cockpit shape or nose shape of the House Colors TriStar, which looks like the first new generation mold of the DC-10 from Hyperwings. And the cockpit windows definitely also look like they're coming from the DC-10 or MD-11. The next issue of the new Hyperwings TriStar models revolves around the tail section of the aircraft. Now, where most aircraft types in the world have a more or less visible edge between the vertical stabilizer and the fuselage, the TriStar very famously did not. It looked like it was one solid piece. Now an older, in this case, Star Jets model from 2001 does have such an edge, which of course is incorrect, but is very forgivable given the age of the model. And luckily for us, Helper Wings in 2009 was able to do this model correctly without the edge. Or for example, with this Delta Airlines from 2012, remind you, also from Harper Wings. Or for example, this Air Transat model from Harper Wings from 2014. Even the 2001-2002 OG Hogan Wings model, which is a subsidiary of Harper Wings, did not have this edge. But Harper Wings in 2021, 2022, and by the way, with a brand new mold for the TriStar, does have this edge. So they have created a brand new mold which is worse than its predecessor. And let me remind you, they have created this brand new mold for only three aircraft models. Two of them they have already released and one is still to come. So they have money to throw away on a mold for an aircraft type that they don't really want to produce much more of in the future. And at the same time, they're telling us that they don't want to invest any money into a new mold for the 737 Classic. Da sehen wir auch, wenn sehr viele äh, Kunden meinen, ähm, dass das anders wäre, sehen wir nicht genügend Nachfrage wirklich, um diese Investitionen zu amortisieren. Because they just can't imagine what aircraft models they could possibly make with that. And I mean, at what point does Helper actually start asking themselves the hard questions, like what is the point, when models from 2001 or 2008 easily can beat what Hapa is releasing in 2022. So uh, two stories from Hapa Wings, both showing a disconnect with their customers, a disconnect with their products. Um, and uh, honestly, I, I often just, I, you can see it now, I'm, I can't find the words to describe what this means for, for the relation between the customers and helper, and it's it's just really bad business practice. Um, but I am right now actually working on a more in-depth series where I want to shine a light on this really special relationship we have with helper and um, the challenges we are facing and what we would like to see from helper. I, I hope to have the first episode out this Friday, so do stay tuned for that. In any case, I will of course inform you on my various platforms when these videos are ready and going out on this channel. With that, I would like to say thank you very much for watching. Hope to see you soon again. I'm checking out and bye.